After a brief pause in investigation, the CDC and the FDA now say it's safe to administer the Johnson & Johnson vaccine once again. Good evening. Thanks for being with us. I'm Dan Jovic. And I'm Jackie Jovic. LSU Health Shreveport reintroduced the Johnson & Johnson vaccine today in its drive through vaccination clinic. Organizers say it's an important tool in the fight against COVID. It's tonight's top story. That's better, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. People lining up to protect themselves. I want to make sure that I'm safe as well as keeping other people safe. For Kenneth McMillan, it's personal. My father passed from, from COVID and uh, complications, and uh, I've had several family members that have suffered from it. I hope things get back to normal. An average of 30 vaccinations per hour at the LSU Health Shreveport North Campus on Linwood Avenue. We have had several people come through today requesting the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, so we've been able to accommodate and give it to them today. After a brief pause, the federal government is again allowing the use of the Johnson & Johnson one-dose vaccine. The concern, a rare type of blood clot found in women under the age of 50 after they had been vaccinated. They identified 15 cases out of around 7 million doses. The CDC and the FDA believe that the uh, risk benefit ratio favors, you know, going ahead and using the vaccine. If you're still not comfortable with Johnson and Johnson, they have Moderna and Pfizer too. Health experts say it doesn't matter which shot you take, just get vaccinated. There are new variants being recorded in other countries across the world, and we need to get as many people vaccinated here in the states as we can and worldwide in order to get control of that. All done. This is my second shot, so I feel a little better now, a lot better. LSU Health has administered a total of nearly 66,000 doses of vaccine to date. You can find a link to the LSU Health vaccination sites on our website, 